it's always so far away. <laughs> I think the white jacket makes me look, I don't know. <laughs> it makes me look kind of weird, don't you think? <laughs> Anyways, hi guys. How are you all doing today? I don't know when you're going to see this because it's going to be another random vlog. You know, me and vlogs. Uh, but on the agenda, I have to run a few errands and then... Um, I'm actually gonna head to Home Goods, and I wanna find something to put my small leather goods in, because right now they're on my shelf, uh, like my film space, on the very top shelf, on one of the top shelves, and it looks like a mess. If you guys watch my Minx Monday, it, it's, it looks atrocious, you know what I mean? Like, they're just there, they're in their dust bags, and I want something nice and cute to put them in. Plus, it, I feel it would make it a little bit easier, that way I have a little bit more space for my handbags. I think those are kind of starting to look a little cluttered too. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so I just have something, you know, in specific that I'm looking for, probably with maybe three or four shelves uh, because I did tend to get a little crazy when it comes to small leather goods and adding them to my collection. So, <laughs> all right, so I'm at Express because I really wanted to get a few different tops. The tops that I have now don't fit. So I'm looking for some new ones. So I'm going to spin the camera around so you guys can check it out. All right, I'm just wearing my red shorts and my. Louis Vuitton uh, Runaways, but I really like this shirt. The only problem is, is that if I, go, this is a size medium, if I go up a large, then it's too big, like on the arms, but look at, it flattens, it flattens the girls. <laughs> it makes them look so flat, I hate that. You know, and even if I try to like push it off or push it down, it still looks kind of funky. Although maybe this doesn't look so bad. And I'm just wondering if I had like, um, uh, obviously longer shorts or even jeans. I think it'd look a little bit cuter with like ballerina flats. Um, but I like the details like that. I have a little, someone needs to answer that phone. Uh, but I like the little flaps that it has. Oh, I thought they were gonna be full pockets. Don't you love it when that happens? <laughs> As I grabbed a large, um, just, just check it out. Fuck like it. It's way too big. I mean, I know it's supposed to be flowy, but I think it's like way too big. You know what I mean? Look at that. I don't know. Maybe I can make the other one work. You guys hear my knees? They're popping. They're popping. <laughs> yeah, I think this is too big. Okay, so this is another one. This is called the City Shirt, and this is in a size medium as well. So it's a little flowy down here, right? Which is fine. The arms are perfect, but again, with the chest, look at this. I mean, it's not that I'm going to be walking around like this either, but still, that's, that's not so cute. But I like the of the color. Again, with the khaki. Always with the khaki. <laughs> but what do you think? I don't know if I like it. I think it's maybe a little too flowy here. You know, just because of my chest. And the large is way too big, I think. So this is the same one as, I think, the black one. Or maybe this is called Portofino. But I love the color. It kind of reminds me of like a really pretty, like, Bougainvillea. But this, I need to, like... I'm, I think I'm going to put, like, what's it called, uh, duct tape or something on them, <laughs> because I, it's not fair, it's not fair. I really like the color. I think I can get away with it, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe if I'm wearing a different type of bra. But I love the color. Do you hear my knees? My knees are constantly popping. That means I'm getting up 30. <laughs> Alright, so here's the large and the same pink one. And this, this is a slim fit Portofino, I think. And I still... I think this is still a little too big. I mean, I could tuck this in, you know? I could tuck it in, and then I could wear like a black blazer on top, and I think that'd look really cute. Um, but in general, I think it's maybe just a, like a hair too big, and then the medium is just a little too snug on your chest. I don't know if I'm feeling them. I don't know, you know what I mean? I don't think they're me. This is what I got going on. I got a white denim jacket. I have my Saint style from L&M, red shorts, and then you guys already saw the Louis Vuitton uh, runways. And I'm using my Chanel reissue and my Kia Australia Sunnies. All right, so Express was a fail, a major fail. Nothing fits. It's like, I'm right in between sizes. It's either way, like it's a tiny two bit, a tiny two bit. It's a little too small or it's a little, too big right smack in the middle and personally I mean I know I can get one and go either way but I rather just get something wait for something that fits perfectly the first time without having Thank to wait you. and then what ends up happening whenever I do that as I meet up my hair usually what happens is I leave it 
like I'll say, oh, I'll fit into it because of X, Y, and Z or whatever. And then I'll leave it in my closet. I'll never use it and I'll have tags on there. I'll completely forget about it and then I'll find something that really fits. Are you guys like that? Because I know that happens to me all the time. I think I'm talking really loud. <laughs> Am I? Robert's nodding his head. I can't help it. I get excited. <laughs> I made a little pit stop at Saks Off the Fifth um, by Park Valley Center and they have the furlough bags that I was talking about earlier this week. Uh, but they have so many different colors. I found a red one. It's actually, I don't know, it's almost like a raspberry red but I don't know and then they have uh, blue black and then I'm just gonna turn the camera around hang on so they do have the beige and then they have the blue or the navy blue but they have these as well that have the little intricate designs but check out this bad boy this is the one that raspberry color and check out the price so they retail for $2.98 and it's $189.99 so 36% off uh, but I really like the way that you open them up see it has a microfiber interior they're super cute. I'm gonna try it on so you guys can see it. And I really, I mean, I really like this color. There's a different one that, I, that I'm that i looking for. It's kind of like a Bordeaux, uh, but I really like how easy it is to get in and out of this bag. You just push these open, so it's kind of like the Louis Vuitton Pichette Matisse. And again, you have that microfiber lining, uh, and it fits quite a bit in there as well. And uh, the leather that it has, it's almost like a, like the Safiana leather from Prada, if I'm not mistaken. I like it, but I'm really looking for that Bordeaux. So I'm just looking at it and it has a little bit of corner wear right there and then even on the bottom. Uh, but then I saw the blush pink one, but check this one out. This one's pretty bad. But still, you get a 36% savings. Um, but I think that the Oxblood one might end up hiding that stuff a little bit more. Although I really like the blush. I don't really like the stuff around that one, but I think it's cute. There's a side view and on the back side there's no pockets such a cute little bag. Adorable. So nothing at Home Goods either. I found a few different things, but one of them was like 300 bucks. I don't want to spend 300 bucks to hold my small other goods, you know what I mean? Just left the dentist and guess what? Zero cavities. Oh yeah. Even though I lost some money. <laughs> But Robert has zero cavities as well. So we are both healthy when it comes to our to our mouths. <laughs> so now we got we have to go to Petco or PetSmart because I have to pick up some of Edward's. I gotta get him some toys because his birthday is on Sunday. And you know, you know I'm gonna spoil him. So these are some of the toys, but look at this one. This one's kind of awkward, right? I know it's an apple, but this is Kind of creepy. <laughs> I think he might like this one a little bit more because he really likes the ones that make this noise. It's crazy. All right, so then there's this guy that says just loafing around, has that little noise too, but he makes a squeaky sound and he has this really cute underwear that says ooh la la. <laughs> so then there's this guy. I'm not going to squeak them all. This fish that has a little toy on the inside. Then we also have some happy birthday. Um, this cute little, I don't know. He also has a little squeaker in there. And then we have cookie treats. We have greenies, uh, a few other things. Look at Rover Easy, how cute. And then we also have this guy. He likes the ones that are super loud. I'm sure most dogs do, but he also prefers the, the other ones. I don't know, I could be here all day. I'm just, what can I say? I'm a dog person. I'm a dog mom and <laughs> I know it's gonna make him super happy when he sees these things but I mean he's my little guy how can I not spoil him right of course I'm going to spoil him looking like major Bert and Ernie today these guys belong to two different people today my eyebrows but I am in one of my favorite stores Ikea I love Ikea um, I just get a lot of different ideas especially when it comes to organizing and here is where I'm going to find um, the little case for my small leather goods holder because mine's a mess it doesn't really have a lot there's no rhyme or reason to it i've been wanting to get some of these clear um chairs but i like the fact that these are like a gray you know what i mean instead of the white i mean i like the white ones but i really like these look at that i think it's really nice i'm gonna try that anyways but they seem a lot sturdier than some of the ones that i've seen before but like this is a nice case you know, not everyone's cup of tea, but I like the colors. Maybe a little too dark for something that I'm going for. I think I want something a little narrow, kind of like this, but maybe not as tall. 
because obviously I don't have that many small leather goods. I even thought about something a little bit more like this, you know, but I don't know. I think the narrow ones might be a little bit better. Might be, that way it's not so all over the place. I like the ones that kind of go bolted into the, into the, into the wall, like these behind me. You know what I mean? Because that way you still have space on the floor and then the, that way you could just put that on, um, on the wall so you're still maximizing how much, you know, how much you have going on in your room without it looking too cluttered. Oh, I think that's it. <laughs> I think you found it. Maybe. Take a picture of that one. I'll show you guys it in just a second. But there's a few other, like, cupboards that you can also put into the wall. But this one... I like the, I'll show you, it has a, like a push button uh, opening. I'm going to turn it around. This guy down there, and then I'll turn the camera around so you guys can see it a little bit better. But that one has three shelves. Alright, so here it is. You know, it's narrow and it's a little taller and you just push on it. And then you have those three little compartments, which I think is perfect in order to be able to, to store my, uh, my small leather goods. You know what I mean? And it's 70 bucks. So if you guys live near an Ikea and you guys are interested in it, there is the info. I found another one that I really like. It's a glass door cabinet and I feel that even if I wanted to leave some of them out, it's kind of exactly what I'm going for. But check it out. See behind me? That one right there, it's still like slender enough to fit exactly where I want it. And I think it'll look clean, you know what I mean? It's not going to look like it's too cluttered and it'll also match my shelving unit. <laughs> I think we have a winner. I've gone to like Home Goods, I've gone to Marshalls, TJ Maxx, all those places, and some of the ones that I saw are like 200 bucks, $300, and they're either a little too wide or a little too short. So I think, like even these, look at these. These are so nice. Look at those. You see them? I like that nice clean look and they have a bunch of different colors it almost has like an industrial looking vibe without it looking too cheesy i think am i wrong maybe i'm wrong i don't know maybe i'm crazy i could be in this i could seriously be in this store all day long and i'd never get bored are you guys like that huge ikea fan love it what else is over here oh shakes these are nice i'm tired I'm a tired. I haven't been sleeping at all. I have really bad insomnia and when I do sleep, I sleep for like two, three hours and that's every day, you know, and it's like I wake up, I'm up for a little bit and then I go back to bed and I sleep for maybe an hour, hour and a half. But then at like the two week mark, that's when it like kicks my ass and then I'll pass out for like 10, 12 hours. But even still, it's not enough time to make up for the fact that I haven't slept all those previous days, you know what I mean? So. Sometimes I look like a zombie, other times, I don't know. <laughs> I think that's why I have dark circles under my eyes. <laughs> I'm not always like the most alert, I think, especially when I do my videos, you can tell. You can tell when I'm tired, at least I can. I feel like I'm just kind of like, shutting down, <laughs> I don't know. So we hit a little bit of a snafu. For those of you, I like this song. For those of you that are looking to get stuff, make sure you bring the appropriate vehicle. We should have brought the beast that is uh, Robert's Wrangler in order for us to be able to, to, fit, to fit this guy. I was looking for something smaller, but I think this is the one and now we have to come back. What a bummer. But I'm walking out with a toy for E um, and a couple rugs. So that sucks. We'll probably be back on what, Saturday? Maybe Saturday, just to pick it up. That the sucks. Oh well. Do I look more alert now? Do I look more alert? Mm-hmm. Should so, I? So awake. So awake as he rolls his eyes. All right. So check this out. The camera bag, right? I think yeah. that's what you said. Uh -huh. Yep. And it's in the beautiful pink lambskin. Of course, not with what I'm wearing. <laughs> but <laughs> I love it. I like that it's a generous drop drop too. And there's this guy. And it's in lambskin. I know they have it in caviar, but this is in the white hardware. Look at how cute that is. It's thin. She sent it to me. Look at that. It's a big size too. Look at compared to my foam springs. Okay, so it's huge. I love that. So cute. And then on the inside, just so you can see, it's 
pretty on there, but I really like it. It's all weather line too. It's kind of hard to do <laughs> with one hand. That is beautiful. Look at that. Candy. Check out this one. I thought that was kind of like the travel one that they had, you know, a couple years ago. That thing is massive. Look at that. And the chain's kind of woven. It has like fabric but woven in between too. I really like these too. There's this. This is a lot of yellow and silver. This one. Look at it. Kind of light. Yeah. Yeah. It almost no, looks like it's, I don't even know yeah. what's showing up on camera, but yeah. it's definitely like a dark beige, almost like a like a rose beige. Look at that gorgeous chain. Right, so here it is on me. It's pretty overwhelming, I think. It's quite large, but it has a really cool opening. So you push this open, and then it has the same interior like a little boy bag. I love the details too. It's very soft. Here I'm going to try the Gabrielle. I've had a lot of you guys ask me why I don't have one, what I think about it. I think um, this bag is incredibly versatile uh, for me. I just find it's a little too busy, but you never know. Never say never. So let me just try it on real quick so you guys can see what it looks like on my body frame. And for, for reference, I am 5'5". Five five. Alright, so there it is. I think you did too. So, right? I'm like, oh my god. I'm like, <laughs> is this goat skin? So oh, it's kind of different because it's like patent into goat skin. Yeah. So it's the yeah that patent glaze finish. Oh, does that make it a little bit more durable or same? Same. Yeah. Same. I do like this. I like how easy this is to open because it's so big. Yeah. But and then you have a fabric interior, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is this the medium? I know there's That's different the sizes, right? This is small. That's medium. The I large like is the, the denim. Small one. <laughs> the small is cute. It just, I don't. It's hard to get in and out of. I feel like because it's so like, I don't know. You can't see everything in there, huh? You have to just pull like, stuff out. Kind of like a tight. Yeah. See, this is why I love her. She <laughs> tells me exactly how it is. <laughs> if you do it, I always say do the medium. Do the medium. Yeah. So this one, I mean, it's. You like the side, the opening of this one a lot better. Yeah. I but just think it's more functional. Mm-hmm. See? The smaller one's cuter, though. I agree. Everything that's so small, it's adorable. I Sometimes know. it's a pain in the butt to get in Exactly, yep. <laughs> Look at it, you got a lot of hardware going on. See? You heard it from her. <laughs> <laughs> and the caviar, and this is light pink. Pink? Uh, dark pink. Dark pink, yeah. even though it's like a coral salmon, but it's showing up like a bright, beautiful pink. But look at this. I really, really like this. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's really thin, though. I think this is better than the other O case that I had, like the dual zip one. Yes. This one's a little bit more generous, it seems like, and yeah. it looks like an actual clutch. <laughs> These remind me of the, um, the envelope clutches that we used to have that had the chain. Yep. It reminds me just like that, except for they don't have chains now. I think I found, I mean, look at these Gucci shoes. These scream gaudy, but they scream me. Look at, they have pink, they have sparkles, and look at all that bling. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Yes. Robert thinks they're hideous. I love these too. They're kind of different. And I like that they're not peak toe because you know me. I'm not a big fan of feet either. All right, so I know these aren't everyone's cup of tea, but these Gucci's are different. I don't know what it is. I really like them. So these Gucci's are awesome. I love the fact that it has a thicker heel, so it's a little bit more comfortable. But look at the details. They have a little bit of pearls, a little bit of sparkle going on. Such a comparison between my docs and these Gucci's. I think they're awesome. Of course, with what I'm wearing too, right? Here's a better shot of them up close. 
I know they're not going to be everyone's cup of tea, like I said, but I think they're kind of different. Are they my style? Probably not, but I still think that they're super cute. Alright, so then there's these. Robert says they look like Christmas slippers, and it's right at my heel. You see that? I think it makes my foot look longer. What do you think? I like them. Maybe they make my foot look even wider, you know? But they're really comfortable, and they're all suede. These are super cute. Really? You think they look like Christmas slippers? Huh? Yeah. They're pretty comfortable. Mm, no, but I'm also, I mean, I'm not wearing both of them. Such a contrast, again. <laughs> Dude, my dogs are trash. I don't care. I like these. They're, I mean, just slip on, slip off. But you still think they look like Christmas slippers? Yeah. You look like a Christmas slipper. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, you're an A. Most likely an A, because he'll make fun of me. I like something I'm gonna wear, you know? But maybe they do look like Christmas slippers. Christmas in July. <laughs> Alright, so I already have the regular espadrilles, but these are the mules or the slides or whatever. So there are the beige lambskin and then the fabric cap toe. And I really like that little detail that it has on there. So they're super cute. Actually, it looks like they're a little too small. I think so. I think so. Got a quick scan of all the Valentinos. I really like these too. But I can't pull those off to save my life. I like these too. So we left the mall empty handed. There was nothing really there. I thought about getting the shoes, um, the Gucci ones with the with the uh, pearls, like the faux pearls. Dude, they were like 2,400 bucks. I do like them. I'm not prepared to spend that kind of money on designer shoes that I know I probably won't get a lot of use out of. Because let's be honest, we all know I put that money towards a handbag. Because I'm more of a handbag freak than I am a shoe freak. As of right now, anyways. Uh, but we are actually heading to lunch. Um, there is, um, I'm gonna have my first burger in I don't even know how many months. Um, but it's a place called Grub, Grub Bar, right? Is that what I said? I think so. Grub Bar, and it's in Carmel Mountain. Um, and I'll show you guys what we end up getting. But I'm kind of nervous because ground beef does wonders to me. Hopefully I'll be okay. Um, but I'm excited too because I get to have fries and I get to have a burger and maybe even onion rings because I love onion rings with ranch. Um, so <laughs> I think I'm more excited about the food <laughs> because I've told you, I'm a foodie through and through that I am about luxury <laughs> that I am about luxury goods, but I should get a salad. I mean, I worked out. I worked out this week. <laughs> I've been good. And I, damn it, I deserve a really good burger. <laughs> All right, so here we are at Grub Burger Bar in Check it out. I told you, we did onion rings. This is a front porch burger. I mean, <laughs> the carbs on here. I feel, I feel like I'm, this is bad, you know? But look at, I have avocado, a little bit of cheese, no mayonnaise, and then look at Robert. Robert got a bacon, what is this? Macaroni and cheese yeah. burger with skinny fries. It's a bowl of fat, <laughs> is what it is. It looks so good though. There's no green except for my avocado. So, fingers crossed, it ends up working out. I am so excited. You could probably hear it in my voice. You can see it in my face. I'm scared. I am scared. I'm terrified. But I also got some liquid courage. <laughs> I haven't had a beer in, I think, it, I haven't had a beer in like a year and a half, maybe? Something like that. I've only had champagne since I started my new lifestyle. So, this is the moment of truth. All right, so I'm not one to talk with my mouth full when I'm eating. I like to, I like to really savor what I'm eating. Oh my goodness, so good, so so good. Robert's mac and cheese burger. I had a little bit of a bite, and it was just not the burger, but just the macaroni and cheese because I I love cheese, you know. But so fitting, right, Minnie Mouse. But oh my goodness, 
amazing, amazing. I don't know if it's because I haven't had this type of food in forever, but it's my free day. And remember, I don't call it a cheat day because a free day is just, you know, I have to make sure to go right back to my lifestyle tomorrow. Um, but, you know, when you're this amped up about it, I think it's okay, you know, because it's not like I eat like this all the time. But it's good. I haven't had a bite of my burger, but you can see. This thing weighs a ton. I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat it all. Look at that. It's so shiny because of all, because of all the all the butter and all the all the grease. So I need a little bit of heat with my food. Um, I just prefer spicy food, uh, but I ended up ordering a side of scorpion scorpion pepper sauce. I think it's delicious. <laughs> Even though I think I'm only gonna be able to eat a quarter of the burger because because that's it's, it's too much. Robert already took a couple bites. I'm just like, dude, I don't think I could do anymore. <laughs> I think I'm done. I couldn't do it. My body automatically gets really full really quickly. I think it's probably because of the, the obviously the onion rings, but the the bread from the burger, the bun, it's it feels like it's too heavy. So I still have, I mean, I think I probably ate, honestly, like a quarter pound, like a quarter of the, a quarter pound, a quarter of the burger, and I'm like, I'm full, I'm beyond full, you know, and then plus with the beer, the beer fills me up as well. But what I really like about this place too is that they play 80s music the entire time. I love 80s music. Do you guys like 80s music? I'm an 80s child, you know, I, I grew up listening to it my whole life, and it's just, I don't know, it always puts me in a good mood. I mean, if I have difficulty talking, it's because it's because I'm beyond buzzed. I'm like borderline drunk off of not even a whole beer. <laughs> How embarrassing! <laughs> Such a lightweight. I, I wasn't. I didn't. I didn't used to be this way. Look, and I'm turning red. I'm turning red because I'm, I feel like I'm nervous. <sighs> Calm down. Simmer down now. Yeah. So I have a little bit of beer left. I have about this much left. I almost hit myself in the face with a glass. <laughs> I shouldn't even put this in the video, but I'm gonna do it anyways because I've told you guys, this is me. I'm a mess, 100% of the time. <laughs> Good morning, looking like and feeling like a doo-doo baby. Yes, my love. Uh, I realized that I did not properly end the vlog um, or anything like that. Is there a way to properly end a vlog? I don't think so. Uh, but anyways, I'm actually heading out to uh, to walk Edward. That's why he's here. Right, bud? You want to say hi? You want to say hi? You want to say hi? Good boy. Uh, but yeah, so um, I do want to say, I mean, check it out. I got all my makeup on from last night. I didn't wash it off. I know that's a major no-no, but what can I say? <laughs> I can say, however, I am using uh, YSL's, I think it's called Shock Mascara that I've been loving. It's amazing and I feel that it really enhances my eyelashes. So um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the vlog, make sure and give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys later. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not, the choice is yours. Have a great day.